Hey, what's up, guys? This is Gautam Raj from GRV Web. We are on the fourth tutorial today. We have a different bay frame which is having a two flows, and the distance between the two columns is of uh, six meters, and two beams is of four meters. We have three different nodal loads and three different UDLs and and then we have three supports at the bottom you can see them okay guys uh, so let's get started working on this one this is the fourth class in this class uh, in class class four next next in this class we are going to use a simple way to selecting different beams we are also going to use a new option called transition repeat you can see it here yeah this one is transition repeat option and we are also going to give different values for beams and columns as well so let's get started with the work so we are having a beam of column of height 4 meters and a width of beam is 6 meters and 4 meters ok guys uh, escape go to front view let's remove grid so guys we have two columns ok let's select these two we are going to use transitional tribute option now so we go we want this to repeat in the direction of x so that we will get an a side side by side so it is of spacing of 6 meters and we want to link those steps hit ok we got an additional beam here just remove that one yeah, ok now we want to repeat another one time and the two times to upward direction uh, so upward direction can be defined by y and also two times and spacing of each is four so we want to link these steps yes okay okay guys uh, go to general we want to define two now because we want to define columns as well as beams ok guys let's give columns is 0 0.4 by 0 0.3 and, and beams uh, let's define beams as 0 0.3 0 0.3 and first let's define columns now so columns are the vertical members so we need to go se to select select the beams parallel to vertical numbers that is y axis so we want to assign to the selected beams assign yes you can see we have r1 because it was assigned as r1 to the columns so next we are going to assign beams same procedure select beams parallel to y axis no sorry x axis because the beams are parallel to x axis assigned to the selected beams sign yes ok guys we have assigned r1 and r2 so next go to supports create a new support uh, which is a fixed add and assign to cursor uh, yeah select this one assign to cursor assign assign here 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 okay close go to loads and definitions load cases add primary add close and go to load cases add here we need to add sulfide as common we have nodal loads let's check them we are having all the positive nodal loads from one side these are all positive because they are acting from left to right so 10 15 and 10 so we need 
integrate only 2 in the direction of x 10 add and 15 add so now go for member load in member load we have three different kinds 10 kilonewtons 5 kilonewtons and 15 kilonewtons so let's create them 10 kilonewtons add sorry 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 it should be minus 10 kilometer kilonewtons add and minus 15 kilonewtons sorry minus 5 kilonewtons guys we got this uh, minus 10 minus 5 and 15 so we are going to assign one by one so initially so initially we are going to assign 10 kilonewtons as per pdf 10 kilonewtons 10 kilonewtons okay assign to the cursor assign here is one here is another and we have 15 kilonewtons assign using cursor assign it here and we have another one of uh, udls that is minus 10 assign 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 it on the top both uh, so we have another one is of minus 5 where we need to assign is yeah here we need to assign assign it here here and 15 at the bottom that's it assigning was completed we need to assign sulfate to the entire view yes that's it this is very simple way to assign and next we need to go to analysis print add close post print define commands analysis results add close control f5 or you can also go to analyze and run analysis